Et bien, il s'est tout le monde, c'est la Je la pêche à la tête, en tout cas, ça se passe. Alors, juste, on se brûle doux sur Red Dead Redemption, nous, on va terminer l'histoire principale. Parce que, du moins, je pense que c'est pas lui tout à la fin. Je suis pas encore certain à 100%, là, mais je crois que c'est bientôt. tout. Peut-être pas dans cet épisode-là, mais bientôt sûrement, je sais pas. Mais après moi, c'est bientôt, voilà. Bon, on va le savoir assez vite, là. Parce que là, on est en campagne, on trouve une famille, etc. Je veux dire, c'est sûr qu'il va se passer de quoi, là. Quoi là, mais c'est clair. Parce que bref, j'aurais pu penser le trajet, mais je vais vous laisser. Donc c'est peut-être la dernière vidéo. Mais ça va pas être la dernière vidéo ce jeu, je rappelle. Mais... Allez, on va faire la petite mission là. Les amis, je vous en ai. We got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. <laughs> Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks, stop. Emergency, stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply, stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess not. She saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. About the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Oh, uh, you know. A little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. <laughs> Quelle jalousie. Bon, oui. Mais... Oh là là, ça va être long plus. So, is she married? This phony McFarland. No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? <laughs> normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes, mouth, nose, that kind of normal. Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, 
first thing to do is stop Dick. Another pearl of wisdom from John Marston. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. I ain't jealous so much as curious. You heard what she wrote. It's just some corn. She saved my life, and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. How did she save your life, anyway? She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to me visiting on him now. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there were really scared of him. A uh, Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only crying if he was afraid of some fool. Bill worked work. so bad, but when Dutch went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. A better way to live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe. But they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John. And they hated you for it. Where did they take you? Who? Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very fun. <coughs> you came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise, thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable old goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarlane. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Miss McFarland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered. Wow, quelle, quelle mission euh, compliquée. Qu'est-ce que vous direz Ça se voit, ça se voit. Ça a été compliqué cette mission. Apparaissez. On va se moquer une fille quand elle me voit au plus gym, mais... Oh, C'est déjà arrivé qu'une fille, on s'est regardé longtemps dans les yeux, mais... 
Genre 10 secondes et plus. Si je tiens à cette fille qui est. Sauf qui, qui j'avais crush, mais en tout cas, j'ai pas encore parlé. <rire> Si quelqu'un fait de l'entendre, c'est ce qu'il y a. C'est pour ça qu'il y a un rôle. C'est sérieux ou soit non. Perfect, John. Et je ne suis pas. Mais tu es meilleur qu'ils sont. Mais nous devons essayer. Pour Ah ben là que si... Non, je pense pas que ça a une mission là, mais... Non, il doit rester genre, je euh, sais pas, une 5, 5, 6, là. Parce qu'il est juste là, ouais. Voilà. Il est où les chiens, édifice Tensez-vous. Je ne suis pas. Vous êtes. Votre corps est tensé et il fait le rifle jump. Vous êtes tenu. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. Don't show me and you'll just, you'll just run off again or something. It's better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. Wolves been after the herd. Gotta get out there and scare them off. Come with me? Safe way too. Okay. Come on! The dog will soon sniff him out! Paul! What are you doing? Come! You're gonna land us both in the dirt! Look out! I can shoot, and you know that! Why you gotta treat me like a kid? It's what fathers do! I'm just trying to look out for you! You can't just decide to be a father when it suits you! What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack! That ain't exactly fair! One minute you're telling me to be a man, the next you're telling me I'm just a boy! It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. <laughs> 
Mais le cheval il veut. Ah oh, c'est chic oh, lui. Faire toute la map avec le chien, ça continue juste pour trouver des goûts. Bon, j'exagère là, mais quand même. Jack, you don't leave the farm without checking with me first, you hear? Uh, 
Killing and murdering. Not for the person who's dead. No. And I guess I've been both. That's how it goes. We all do what we have to to survive. And sometimes it ain't pretty. You know, we could be outlaws, you and me. <laughs> all we did was kill a few wolves. Well, I read a book about a father son who brought bait. What arm will That was his name. I'm happy with my two arms, if you don't mind. Just imagine. And what about your mom? Well, I mean, we still come home. You live in a dream world. It ain't like they tell it in books. And it ain't no way to live life. It was ugly and brutal. All right, gee. I was only joking around. You're turned into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. John! John! What is it, old man? It's Jack. The kid. The kid. Well, I just saw him out in the valley. Seems your tales of hunting got the better of him. He said he was going up to the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen up there. Kid can't hunt a grizzly. Thing will eat him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. But you're worthless as a lawyer at a lynching. Damn you, old man. This is my son. Anything happens to him, you wish it was you that bear attacked. That's it. Good boy. Easy. Where is he, Rufus? Come on, easy up now. Where's Jack? Let's go. What is it, Rufus? Are we close? Where's Jack? Where is he? Jack, Rufus! Him, boy. Jack! You up here! Yeah!
Skin an elk, break horses. Come on, let's get you home. Now hold tight. You all right? You're not leaving me here, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you're lucky to be alive, you stupid boy. What did I tell you about going off by yourself? Keep going, Paul. I want to get home. I go off by myself plenty. You just don't know about it. You're never around. So this is my fault? You disobeyed me. Well, I was trying to prove myself. Prove what? By getting yourself killed? I don't killed? think I can ride myself, sir. Come on. You're always telling me I read too many books, that I'm not a real man. I never said that. I just thought if I could do something you'd like, maybe you wouldn't go away again. Son, I ain't going anywhere. And believe me, neither are you for a real long time. Yeah. Come on. What's your mother gonna say? I'm sorry, Paul. Please don't be angry. I ain't angry. I'm disappointed. Don't you ever run off on your own like that again. All right, all right. I told you I was sorry. What would have happened if I hadn't come along? I don't know. I'd probably be dead. You'd be a pile of bones right now. What would you care? I'm just a nuisance to you anyway. That ain't true, Jack. I'd do anything for you. You know that. I guess there's only room for one hero in this family. Trust me, son. I ain't no hero. I'm just glad you're safe. Yeah. Come on. Going after a grizzly? What were you thinking? You've only been hunting twice. I'm not a little kid anymore. What were you doing at my age? Bad thing. Things nobody should do. But your mom and me, we didn't have what you have. Yeah, yeah, I know. I should be grateful. I'm not asking you to be grateful. I'm asking you to do what I say before you get yourself killed. It's always one set of rules for you and another set for everybody else. You think I don't know what you did back in the old days? I'm not stupid. You could have fooled me. You think I didn't sit up and listen to Dutch and Bill telling all those stories? You think I don't know who you are? It ain't no secret I didn't get these scars falling over in church. But nobody tells me anything. You and Ma pretend like nothing happened. We just want a better life for you, son. Now rest. We'll have you home soon. Come! Whoa there. Sorry I made you worry, Paul. <laughs> Don't be too eager to grow up, son. Ain't as much fun as it looks. When you're ready to hunt bears, I'll take you. Le dernier ennemi à battre. Oh, pas là. <rire> ok. Let's go. Ça, ça a l'air plus spécial. Hey, ça. hey Paul. Need a hand with that? Um, no, sir. I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother we'll do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul.
just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? Well, I ain't met the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. The day John Marston stops shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. Well, I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know they're gonna be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John! Come here! John! Come here, quick! Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside. You hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. Now you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy! Oh, boy. Looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. Come on, old man. I'm gonna need you to help me hold them off. Oh, leak. You best get that gun ready, old man. Jeez. Don't move. We ain't got nothing. I'll keep watch out here. Get in there. There'll be more coming. What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Paul, what do they want? I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. Oh, look how many there are. They're gonna kill us, aren't they? No, I ain't gonna let that happen. We'll take y'all off. You want to Move! No. Oh, combien Das Twist, ja so. Stay 
that's that. Hang in there, Uncle! I'm gonna get you out of here safe! Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby. <coughs> take them and... <coughs> Don't worry about me. Let's get them out of here. No! Uncle, please! Oh, my God! They killed him! Come on, son! Ain't nothing we can do for him now! We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there! Ils sont encore bien. Nice cette mission. Oh, ça sent. Euh... Hey, come on. Now listen, Jack, Narlin, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me. You hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go! Get! Je le sens mal. <laughs> Je le sens mal. Oh putain. Mais là. Et de quoi là? Mais non, mais pense par à. Putain, non, non, non. Tu veux que je fasse quoi contre ça? 
Attends. Non, non, je... Oh l'enculé, c'est lui! Quel menteur! Quoi? Attends, il meurt vraiment là! The fuck? Moi que j'ai avoir commencé à séquence. Jules. You hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go. Jure. Jure, il est mort. Le perso principal, ça se. Mais non. Je m'attendais pas à ça. En même temps, hein, que tu veux que je fasse contre ça. Non, mais je pense que la fin est vraiment de même. Je vais checker après, là, mais. Je pense pas qu'il y ait plusieurs fins dans le jeu, là. Parce que sinon, il serait écrit mort puis recommencé. Fait qu'il est vraiment de même la fin. What the fuck? Ah ouais. Ah ouais, oublie ça. Ouais, il est mort en les protégeant, mais... Ah ouais, il est vraiment mort. Il y avait 20, 37 ans, 38 ans. Quand même. Oh! Attends, c'est le petit! Non, non, attends, je sais pas, là, mais je suis pas sûr, mais... Elle est mort trois ans après. Ouais. Il se passe quoi du coup Les jeux finis de même Dors de quoi non Ma famille. Oh. On va aller voir ça. Hello, young man. Hello, sir. You work with the government? You one of them agents? Sure, son. <coughs> Why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for him. Edgar Ross? No, but well knew of him. A fine man if you want a results. Won himself a chest full of medals. I think he went and retired about a year ago. 
Last I heard, him and his wife had moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. Lucky guy, getting to take it easy. He's fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> well, thank you for the information, mister. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Edgar gave them some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. Not rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive man. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. And don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. <laughs> c'est pas euh, de gros truc, c'est pas euh, ouais. Ah oh non, mais ça va de me faire voyager partout sur la carte là. T'as deux fois là. Hein? Voilà, voilà. Hey there, mister. How's the hunting? Well, pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits, coyote, elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. I've got a letter here from Edgar Ross. You know him? I, I heard he was down in these parts with his wife. Since I know him, he's my brother. He's gone down river, duck hunting. Must be a pretty important letter to have come all this way. 
Yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. Let's be off then. Just don't get on his bad side. Got a filthy temper. Mais vas-y, voilà, voilà, voilà. Excuse me. You Edgar Ross? Do I know you? Forgive me for startling you, sir. I have a message for you. My name is Jack Barston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. No, lui. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure shit found. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. Oh, right. Now get out of here before I kill you as well. I ain't going nowhere, old man. Oh, petit duel. Excuse me. You Edgar Ross? Damn, colleague. C'est vous, Gain 19. Quoi ton problème de très sushi ni eux Yeah. <laughs> 
Arrête des galets comme ça. Moi, je les ai toutes capturées. Bon les potes, ça va être cette vidéo donc on a fini sur mes spots. Là mon côté je vois faire un peu la la chasse et tout. Je pense pas que ça va être intéressant. Bref, ciao